The Father sits here and explains this knowledge to you spirits. Children, you now have to return home. The play is coming to an end. This cycle is a 5,000 years. The world cycle exists eternally, but it takes 5,000 years to rotate. All the souls living here will return home. The old world is to be destroyed. Baba explains every aspect very clearly. Some are misers and they waste their property for nothing. On the path of devotion, people give donations, perform charity. Some build armshalas, rest place for pilgrims, spiritual pilgrims in particular, and some build hospitals, etc. Their intellects understand that they will receive the fruit of that in their next birth. No one does anything without hoping for. What do we all hope for when we do something? There is some motive behind it. <laughs> no one does anything without hoping for some sort of return whilst being free from desire, without being free from desire. Many say that they have no desire for a reward for what they do, but they definitely do receive the fruit of whatever they do. For instance, when someone uses some of his money to make a donation, it will remain in his intellect that he will receive the return of that in his next birth. Here, if you have attachment to what you give, if you think that that thing was yours, <clears throat> you can receive the fruit of it in the next birth. Donations are given to receive a return in the next birth. Since you receive the return in your next birth, why should you have any attachment to it in this birth? So total detachment for, for what we give, what we do. But it says, therefore, in order for all your attachment to end, you are made trustees. When someone takes birth in a good wealthy family, it is said he has performed good deeds in his previous birth. Someone takes birth to a king and queen because he gave donations and performed charity. So we've taken birth to the biggest king of all, haven't we? The highest soul. So think about what charities we've done through the whole cycle, <clears throat> in particular, last confluence age and this confluence age to win such a lottery. <clears throat> Baba says, however, that is a matter of a temporary period of just one birth. You are now studying in education here. You know what you have to become through this study. Therefore, imbibe divine virtues. A spiritual university and hospital is opened with the donations you give here. Once you have given something in donation, all your attachment to it must end because you know that you are to receive the return of that from the Father 
for the future 21 births. All these buildings, etc., <clears throat> that the father has had built are only for a temporary period. And I think Bubba's really referring to Madhuban in particular, but all the buildings all around the world. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me have a little drink of water. Otherwise, where would all these children live? Everything, everyone gives everything to Shiv Baba. He is the Lord. He is the Master. He then does everything through this one. Through Brahma Baba, Shiv Baba doesn't rule, so Baba referring to the golden age, he himself is the bestower. What would he have attachment to? Do you think Baba has any attachment? No. No. Your loving attachment no. with the children. <laughs> That's what I was wondering if he has attachment to us, but I think he has love for us, but probably not even attachment. But the father now gives Srimad. He says, <clears throat> death is standing in front of you. Previously, when you used to donate something to someone, there was no question of death. Now that Baba has come, the old world is to be destroyed. <clears throat> so death is very prominent coming. Baba says, I have come to finish this impure world. The entire world is to be sacrificed in the sacrificial fire of Rudra. Whatever future you make for yourself, you will receive that in the new world. Otherwise, everything will be finished here. Someone or other will eat it up. So someone, if you try to save your wealth and hoard things, someone will take it. Nowadays, people still give credit when destruction takes place everything will be destroyed no one will be able to give back anything to anyone everything will be left behind today everything may be good tomorrow there will be bankruptcy no one will get their money back. If you give something to someone and he dies, who would return that to you? So what should you do? Use it to benefit Bharat for 21 births. Use it to benefit yourself too for 21 births. So the only real solid insurance is the karmas that we do in service, remembrance that we do, and the donations that we make to expand Baba's service. Whatever you do, you do for? Whatever you do, you do for what or who? Benefit others. Benefit others. That's a good answer. For Different us. Answers for today. us. Benefit for yourself. For us. Yeah. For yourself. Right. Whatever you do, you do for yourself. And that's whether it's good actions or bad actions. You know that by following Srimad, you are claiming a high status through which you receive happiness and peace for 21 births. This is called the spiritual hospital and university of the eternal father 
through which you receive health, wealth, and happiness. Some have health, but not wealth. And so there cannot be happiness. You have to have both. You can remain happy when you have both. So we may not have uh, physical wealth, but we have spiritual wealth, with, which is even more than the physical wealth. This is what keeps us happy. The Father gives you both for 21 births. You have to accumulate enough of these for 21 births. It is the task of the children to create ways to do this. The fortune of the poor children opens when the Father comes. The Father is the Lord of the poor. He, sorry about that. I turned the phone off, but there's another one ringing. These things are not in the fortune of the wealthy. <clears throat> Let's just remember Baba for a few seconds. At present, Bard is the poorest land. It used to be the richest land, and it has now become the poorest. At present, all souls are impure. <clears throat> so even the United States is the poorest land. May not be the poorest financially, physically, but certainly spiritually, we're high up there. <clears throat> there cannot be a single impure soul where there are pure souls. That's the golden age, which is Sato Pradhan. This is the iron age, which is Tamo Pradhan. You are now making effort to become Sato Pradhan. The Father is reminding you, children, of this. Therefore, you understand that you truly were residents of heaven and that you took 84 births. To speak of 8.4 million different species is just a lie. Did you live as animal species for many births? And is this your last human birth? Do you now have to return to animal species? The father explains. Death is now standing in front of you. There are not 40,000 or even 50,000 thousand years left. People are in extreme darkness. This is why they called, are called those with stone intellects. So no, no light can go through a stone, but is making our intellects divine. Your intellects are now being changed from stone to divine. I don't think any of us have a stone intellect now, do we? Of course not. Sannyasis, etc. cannot explain these things to you. The Father is now reminding you that you have to return home. Transfer your bags and baggage as much as possible what does that mean to you, transfer your bag and bags and baggage as much as possible? 
Like give and whatever you have to him. Intellect and your resource. Yes, definitely. Invest wisely now with whatever we have. Remembrance, uh, financial, your body. Baba, <clears throat> take all of this and I will receive everything, everything in the golden age for 21 births. This Baba also used to give donation and perform charity. He had a lot of interest in doing that. Businessmen usually put aside two pesa for charity, whereas Baba used to put aside one anna, which is twice the amount of a pesa. No one who comes to your door should leave empty-handed. So empty-handed, we have to give him something, whether it's a virtue that you're uh, acting in, or is it vibrations? Is it best wishes? And sometimes they come to the centers, they get a totally and a blessing to take home. Baba says, no one knows that God has come in person. People die while giving donations and performing charity. And so where would they receive the return of that? They do not become pure. They do not have love for the Father. The Father has explained. So when we give to Baba because of the love, the ingredient of love that we have, that we give to Baba, the return is going to be much more than someone just giving blind faithfully. <clears throat> the intellects of the Yadavas and Koravas have no love for the Father at the time of destruction. Whereas the intellects of the Pandavas are full of love for the Father at the time of destruction. The people of Europe are all Yadavas because, why is Baba calling them all Yadavas? For those that haven't read them early. <laughs> Any thoughts? They make bombs. <laughs> they create bombs, etc. Just look at what has been written in the scriptures. According to the drama plan, many scriptures have been created. There's no in, there is no question of inspiration here. Inspiration means ideas. So Baba teaches us through knowledge, through points. So he doesn't teach us through inspiration, but he certainly does inspire us, doesn't he? We feel so inspired through the love we feel from Baba, and even we feel inspired through the knowledge that he has given us. It gives us inspiration, but he literally doesn't just teach through an ins inspirational thought. The Father does not teach through inspiration. The Father explains. This one was a businessman. He had a good reputation and he was held in high regard by everyone. When the Father entered him, he started to be insulted. They do not know Shiv Baba, so they can't insult him, can't insult Shiv Baba. It is this one who has to take all the insults. Krishna denied eating the butter. So now Baba's equating Krishna role to 
uh, the stories of Krishna anyway to Brahma Baba. Krishna denied eating the butter. This one also says, all of this is Baba's work. He's saying, it's not me, it's Baba's work. I don't do anything. He is the magician. I am not that. People insult this one for no reason. And so then uh, Baba's gonna, Brahma Baba will be talking. Did I abduct anyone? I didn't tell anyone to run away from their home and come here. I was simply living there. They themselves came running. He is blamed without reason. He received so many insults. Just look at what has been written in the scriptures. The father explains, this will also happen again. All of these things are matters of knowledge. No human being can do this. No human being can do what Baba has done through this God-made yagya. At that time, it was the kingdom of the British government. So many mothers and daughters came and stayed. No one could do anything about it. When the relatives of some came, they would try to take them back, take back the mothers or daughters. Baba would tell them, you could try and make her understand and take her back. I do not forbid anyone to leave. However, no one had the courage. So no one had the courage to leave Baba. No one had the courage. It was the Father's power that pulled everyone and kept them in that safe feeling of being in Omandli. It was nothing new. All of that will happen again. This one had to take insults from Brahma Baba again. This is the story of Drupadi. All of you are Drupadis, and they are Dushashans. It is not a question of just one. Who wrote all those lies in the scriptures? Did any of you write those lies in the scriptures? Perhaps. <laughs> we know Sanjay did uh, many, there are a lot of writers and everything that's done in the Confluence Age is remembered in some way through the copper and iron. The Father says that too is part of the drama. So all the lies that are written. No one has knowledge of souls Everyone has become totally body conscious. A lot of effort is needed to become soul conscious. Robin has turned you completely up and down. The father is now turning right way up. When you become soul conscious, you automatically have the awareness of being souls that the, those are your harmoniums for you to play. So we play through the body, through the harmonium. When you maintain this awareness, you are able to, when you maintain the awareness of being soul conscious, what's the result of that? Remember the Father. Yes, remember the yeah. Father. 
we, we have divine virtues. Yes. yes, you are able to imbibe divine virtues. The reason being is that when you're soul conscious, more innate qualities of the soul begin to emerge. So soul consciousness is an innate quality that brings all the divine virtues. The more we are soul conscious, the more virtues will spring up. Baba says, you must not cause sorrow to anyone. There used to be the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan in Bharat. It is a matter of 5,000 years. Those who say that it is hundreds of thousands of years are in total darkness. According to the drama, time has now come to an end. And so the father has once again come. The father says, now follow my Srimat. Death is standing in front of you. Otherwise, the desires that are within you will remain unfulfilled. So the only desire that we should have, could have, want to have, is to follow Srimat. That's our pure desire. And of course, that is the desire to become pure by following Srimat. Everyone is definitely going to die. This is the same Mahabharat war. So in the Mahabharat war, they lost their lives and everyone here will lose their physical life. The more you benefit yourself, the better it is. The more you benefit yourself, the better it is. As our stage ascends, the world ascends. You know, and, and souls can take benefit just by being just by being around someone who has the very powerful elevated stage. And we see that with Dottie. Souls would just come in front of the Dotties and they felt they just felt good. And whatever Dottie's stages were, that would reflect back into them and they would feel that very Definitely. The more you benefit yourself, the better it is. Otherwise, you will return empty handed. Everyone else in the world has to return empty handed. Only you children go back with your hands full, which means you return wealthy, of course, wealthy spiritually, totally, physically, beautiful, everything that you can think of. We, were, we have so much spiritual wealth, the wealth of the virtues and physical wealth will follow that. A totally unlimited and broad intellect is needed to understand this. So it's not that our hands will definitely be full with possessions and gold and money and credit cards, but we'll have everything. There are people of many religions. Each one's act is different. No two persons' acts can be identical. Each one's features are his own. So not only are their features all different, even identical twins, <laughs> and everyone's act is different, that means also that our sanskaras are different, right? Our scripts are different. The sanskaras are different. So to have this understanding of just total acceptance of everyone, because everyone is different from each one of us. And sometimes we want everyone to feel like we feel or do like we do. 
do this job like I do it, right? No, it's not that way. All of this is fixed in the drama. These are wonderful aspects. The father says, now consider yourselves to be souls. I, the soul, go around the cycle of 84 births. Bubba is showing us how to churn now. I, the soul, go around the cycle of 84 births. I, the soul, am an actor in this drama. I cannot leave it. No one can attain eternal liberation. Therefore, it is useless to try, to try for eternal liberation. The Father says, it is possible, it is impossible for anyone to leave the drama and impossible for anyone to be added to it. So much knowledge cannot remain in everyone's intellect. Knowledge in this way throughout the whole day. So Baba gave us examples now of how to churn the knowledge. You can go back and read that if you want. Have remembrance for one moment, two moments, and continue to increase it. By all means, do eight hours of physical service. Have a rest, but also make time to serve this spiritual government. The main thing is that you serve yourself. So even when we serve others, we're serving ourselves. And depending on your mindset when you're serving and your soul conscious stage, you serve both very well. Stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance and also attain a high status with knowledge. So our high status does come from remembrance, but also the understanding of knowledge, the depth of it. Keep an accurate chart of your remembrance. Baba has been mentioning this chart now for days. <laughs> knowledge is easy. Just as it is in the father's intellect that he is the seed of the human world and that he knows the beginning, the middle, and the end of that, in the same way, our intellects know that we are Baba's children. Baba has explained how this cycle continues to turn. You also give eight to 10 hours to your business. If a good customer comes at night, you never yawn. Here too, when someone yawns, it is understood that that person is tired that his intellect must be wandering elsewhere. So his attention isn't focused on the Merle if he's listening to Merle. Those living at centers also have to remain very cautious. The children who don't worry themselves about the children who don't worry themselves about what? Shirima. About others. About others. Uh, about others, but are only concerned with their own studies, constantly make progress. And so this is a, a common mistake that 
sometimes we Brahmins do. We worry about others. Why is this one doing this? Why is that one doing that? But Bob is very firm about this. Don't worry about others. Don't waste your time. Baba says, do not have waste thoughts about others and thereby destroy your own status. Hear no evil, see no evil. So even if someone is doing something that's terribly wrong, see it, but don't see it. Do not see it. Do not hear it, let it go. If, if things someone says are not good, listen with one ear. Let it out the other, let it go. Don't think about it again. Always look at yourself. Always look at yourself, not others. Do not stop studying. There are many who sulk and stop coming Later, they come back. Where would they go if they didn't come here? There is only one school. And so there's only one school where the principal is God. Don't put an ax to your own feet. Simply remain engrossed in your study. Stay very happy. God is teaching you. And so what more do you want? So stay very happy. God is teaching you. And so what more do you want? God is our father, teacher, and Satguru. Therefore, your intellects have to be connected in yoga to only him. Did you reach up and touch him then when Bubba said your intellects have to be connected in yoga to only him? He's the number one beloved of the whole world and he is making you the number one masters of the world. The Father says, you souls are very impure, and so you can't fly. Your wings have been clipped. Robin has clipped the wings of all souls. Shit Baba says, no one except me can make you pure. All the actors have come here, and the population has to continue to grow. No one can return home yet. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost, long lost now found. Now found. Now found. Love, love, remembrance, and goodness. The spiritual father, the spiritual father, spiritual father, father, and spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father. Very nice. Essence for Dharna number one. Remain busy with thoughts of your eternal self and the study. And Baba showed us in the Murali how to do that, how to churn. I'm going through 84 births and uh, it's not possible for me to leave the drama. It's not possible for anyone to come in the drama etc. So remain busy with thoughts of your eternal self and the study, eternal self. So what do you do through eternity, through the whole cycle? Do not look at others. If someone does not say good things, listen with one ear, let it out the other. 
don't sulk or stop studying. Don't sulk or stop studying. Number two, donate everything while alive and finish all your attachment. Will everything, become a trustee and remain light. Become soul conscious and imbibe divine virtues. And this is an interesting blessing today. May you become the embodiment of an example by transforming your main sanskar and thereby transform the world. So Bob is talking about a san, a, an acquired sanskar that has become a main sanskar that we want to transform. I will read it again. May you become an embodiment of an example by transforming your main sanskar and thereby transform the world. Each one has one main sanskar, which you call nature. And from time to time, it becomes an obstruction to you moving forward. Become those who transform that main sanskar and become the embodiments of an example for only then will the whole world be transformed. Now bring about such transformation that no one can say, this has been one sanskar from the beginning. When the old sanskar is not visible to any percentage and not even a single trace of it is visible when it is not spoken about, you will then be said to be the embodiment of an example of complete transformation. So that old sanskar that was such an obstruction has left that no one even remembers that you had it. And you don't even remember that you had it. The new sand scar that you've developed is so powerful that it just squinches any old unusable sand scar. And the slogan, time for trying has now passed. So make a promise from your heart and transform your life. Time for trying has now passed, so make a promise from your heart and transform your life. What does Bubba mean, make a promise from your heart? He means to make it with that passion, passion of that drive, that will. You know, when you really wanna do something, that something you wanna do really becomes easy you know, you become so inspired by it. And so make a promise from your heart. So with all your feelings and transform your life. So that was reminding me too of uh, when we do something with bhavna, you know, it's so deep in the soul. It's that feelings of love and devotion. I want you to listen to this. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, did you hear that music? For a second. Yes. For a second. Good. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. Um, but then beyond Bhavna, Sister Mohini sometimes touches on this Bhavna. We can do traffic control fairly time, 7 o'clock. Oh, that's right. It's 7 o'clock. Yes, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. It was nice. So, um, so this back to this Bhavna and Bosna that I was saying that Sister Mohini touches on from time to time. And Bhavna, we know, we understand Bhavna is that you do something out of devotion and feelings and love. But Bosna is something deeper that you're actually focusing in, in your transmitting and emitting this vibration and experience. So it becomes really alive, it becomes into the atmosphere. I think the Dottis have a magic about that they can do that because you come in front of them and you just feel differently, right? And there aren't that many Dottis left. So we have to step up, Baba said, to, you know, the main thing is uh, to serve yourself. And so I think it's time now for all of us to step up and become Dadas and Dottis and Didis and so forth and so on. So tell me what I'm supposed to do now, Gita Ben Didi. 
Do they share points you, or do you have a 35 minutes so you can share? Okay, something I wanted to really share about. Do you all see this? You know what this is? This is a new invention. Have you ever seen one of these? <laughs> I'm playing with you. Everybody knows, right? Yeah. Everybody's got a phone? Yes. Okay. How many of you have uh, B zone? Yes, I have. I, I do. I have to. Oh, it's I wonderful. Do you, do you use it? Yes. 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 I carry, I never used to carry my phone all the time. Now I carry it. I put it on my hip. I have a little pouch. I put it on my hip. And the B zone comes on every hour with just a fragment of a music. Fragment. That's all you need, really, is just a reminder. Uh, yes, it is an app that you can get at the iTunes store. It's a BK app, and it's called B-E-E -E Zone, Z-O-N-E. -E. But I want to tell you what it's done for me. I mean, I just think it's because I'm so uh, judicious about it. You know, I don't let go of it. I carry it around with me and I make sure I can hear when traffic control comes on every hour. And I just enjoy it so much. And I feel like it's brought Baba more into my life. And sometimes I get to work at my desk here and all of a sudden and another hour goes by and I'm I'm surprised, what? Another hour, it's just been 10 minutes, maybe 15. But no, it's been an hour. And then another, and another, and another. Yesterday, four hours went by like so quickly. And so it's wonderful mechanism. It's a crutch, it is a crutch to help remember Baba more. And I feel like, Bubba's become more living in my life because of it. So yesterday, what I started to do was, let me see if I can remember Bubba in between the traffic controls without the crutch. And I was able to do that several times. So it's been a wonderful game. I like games and sports and uh, challenges. And, and so it, it's helped me so much. I'm just telling everybody, just to, if you don't have it, get it. If you already have it, I'm trying to read some of the chats. Dorothy Ben, it says that you can let more about Bhasana. Oh. You know, you say it's Bhavana and Bhasana. So Bhavana, okay. everybody knows Bhasana. Well, it is my limited understanding, and Gita, after I share, maybe you coming from a Hindi background uh, would understand it more. But it's like, Basna is more of a feeling or an anabuti, like an experience, not a feeling. But you bring the bhavna into an experience. So for example, I can offer bow because it's what we do and it's out of love and I would never eat the food before it's offered to bhava. Um, if that it's not offered to Baba. And, uh, and so, but the Basna in that is the feelings that I admit. Again, this passion in the heart. So when we put the heart into it, and Baba talks about heart all the time, and he's called Dilaram, right? The comforter of hearts. He doesn't say, I'm Dila Buddhi, I'm a comforter of the intellect. It's our hearts that we want to be comforted. And so this experience of, of being able to transmit the bhavna into a bhasna that goes out into the world, into those around me, and it becomes an experience that others can actually not just watch your devotion, but experience your devotion, experience that love. Um, do you want to add to it, Kita? Can you add something? Did I, you did accurately, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. 
So bhavana, what you experience, like this feeling, and then you can share that experience to others, like you give the bhasana, that they can really experience what Baba's love is. Right. And you know, when I, I think about like Dadi, right now Dadi Janki, because she's on our prominently in our minds, when she gives totally, you know, you know, you could feel something transmitting more than just the totally, more than just good wishes, but this depth of experience. So that's that's what I would say uh, about Bosna. Uh, and for me today, uh, I like this point very much, where Baba was saying to mind yourself, serve yourself. And so I was thinking, what does that really mean? Um, serving the self, we have to forget even our own mistakes, we have to protect our inner space. You know, the inner space that we have of maybe things we've done wrong or disappointments. Uh, we have to replace all that with instant and i use this word instant positivity because what happens when you've done something wrong or maybe something not exactly right and you start ruminating thinking about it again and again in your mind it really the further you think about it the harder it is to stop it's like being on a hill in san francisco and you're in your car and the car starts rolling down the hill. You put the brakes on real quick, right? Because you don't want your car to roll down the hill. But if the car started rolling down the hill and it was already halfway down the hill, it's almost impossible to stop it. And the same with our thoughts. And so that's why we have to monitor our thoughts as we go through our daily activities and stop the, anything that's negative before it becomes a, a deep stain on the soul. Because all our thoughts all day put something in the soul. The residue is left in the soul. So we want to make sure we don't uh, dwell on things. Dwelling is not good. Okay, someone makes a mistake. Like Bob said today let it go in one ear and out the other and and just forget have train our mind and our intellects because it takes both it takes a divine intellect to watch my thoughts and to begin to change them so they become so the residue within the soul becomes pure and pure and i become pure and pure you know, I feel sometimes we spend so much time in yoga and we want to become pure, but then these waste thoughts and these other things uh, that come into the soul really hinder us so much. And so what, it's, it's kind of difficult to watch your thoughts throughout the whole day, but I find that one way I can watch my thoughts is to monitor my feelings. Uh, so it, I like feeling really good. <laughs> I like to pig out on feeling good. I just, and I think all of us do. We just want to feel wonderful. And so I like going throughout the whole day just feeling grand, feeling my best. But if something happens during the day, and I'm not feeling like I'm flying, like I'm grand, like I'm glowing like a light bulb or a lighthouse. I go by my feelings and then I look at it and say, what was I thinking? Oh, I was thinking about what Johnny did or Henry did or Elizabeth did or whatever. And I change that thought. I obliterate that thought. How do you obliterate a thought? You can't tell a thought, go away, don't bother me. But we have to implant a new thought at that time. 
And so if I see a defect in someone and I shouldn't be even seeing it, but if I do, I don't want to pick that defect up. And if I see it, I am actually putting it as a residue in me, the soul. And so then what I would do is think about, oh, but this person is so gentle. This person is so lovely and quiet. I will pull something up that I can remember that same soul that I like about that soul, a virtue that Baba has given that soul. And so I think this is, this is my yukti of, of changing anything that I see negative because we all have defects, every one of us, but we also have uh, these wonderful virtues and powers and everything that Baba has given us. And so even the last soul in the rosary of souls, of, of BK souls, has lots of virtues, lots of virtues. And so to begin to, I have to see a new world for a new world to be here. And we're still in the old world. You know, sometimes we do have devilish traits or devilish things. And so we have to know, yeah, that's acceptable. Don't try to push that away. Accept it, but also accept the beauty in each soul. So we can keep our, our spiritual fragrance, the spiritual fragrance that each one of us has is going to be dependent on our stage for sure, everything we've accumulated. But even if you've accumulated a lot and then all of a sudden you have an off mood, that's going to show instantly. And you will be not emitting this beautiful Bosna, this beautiful spiritual fragrance. And so we have to train ourselves to be these beautiful flowers in Baba's garden, always emitting this spiritual fragrance of seeing the best in everyone, even though sometimes we may not just bring it back to the best in everyone. And I think this is what the Dottis did very well. And, um, and we are now masters of that. And I think it's been extraordinary that we all had this special time and maybe others are going to Netflix and watching movies <laughs> and doing things like that. But we have a time to, to be with Baba, to create new things. Uh, I like to create slideshows and short movies and and do things like that, yagya things, you know, not short movies <laughs> from outside. But, um, and so expand yourself. And as you expand yourself, you're going to expand service. So, for example, I like doing this, um, I like editing a lot, a lot. But I like editing Bubba's stuff. So I went to and I, the uh, electronic and I got the, you know, the uh, picture of the soul world. And I made a commentary, a 30 minute commentary. And I put it up on the Peace Village YouTube channel. And it's our first thing we've put up. It's called Rosary of Souls. And it's, it's good for the public because... Um, it shows how Baba really is holding on to every strand, no matter which religion they are, which culture they are, uh, but he's doing that. And, and so this all just came from being with Baba and creating. So we can be with Baba and be in a creative mood. We can be with Baba, and I know Susan likes to go out in the garden a lot. And she's pulling everyone. You know, we have our greenhouse. And so this is the time, even though we have snow on the ground, uh, this is the time of planting. 
and and she does that with creativity and so now they're creating they're doing lots of herbs in the greenhouse and they're also doing uh, mushrooms some of them are really into mushrooms they say mushrooms are very therapeutic and i don't know how therapeutic mushrooms are but i guess they could be very well so um and i think another thing that we can do is just appreciate the time that we're in uh i think this is a rehearsal for the times to come this is just a little rehearsal <laughs> We may think it's a big rehearsal, but forget, you know, maybe now we might say, oh, we don't have any plant milk. We don't have soy milk. Where's the almond milk? We can't go to the store. We're not allowed to go to the store. It's locked down. We can't do this. We can't do that. But there will be a time when you will be so happy, so exuberant just to have water. And I think those times will be coming. And so I think this is a hiccup, but it's also a reminder of what we have to do to plan for the future. But Bubba makes us very futuristic. He takes us to the golden age, and he told, told us many times today to think of the new world. But even in thinking of the new world, we have to think about things that we may still need in this world to get us to the new world. So I was thinking like, medications if you are one who takes medications you know make sure you're you're okay with that so when the time comes you have everything you need you have all the dental floss if that's your thing that you need or your vitamins or or whatever it is necessities things to keep us healthy because i think we all want to stay healthy and we know how important our stages and our mind is into keeping us healthy, but we also have to take care of the body. Or Gita Didi, you remember when uh, Baba was talking about Jagdish after he left the body and he was saying that he didn't mind his body, that he could have taken care of it better. Uh, I remember that very well. And so uh, it's a caution. And I think we have to be sensible just is every Wednesday and even between Wednesday and Wednesday, we'll straighten up our room and take care of it and make sure everything is in place. We have to do that to the bodies that we're in because they're very valuable. They're gonna get us. Okay, am I supposed to read these Thank chats? You. No, 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 it's for us. So we can oh. just see what that, yeah. So let's we can um, you can guide meditation. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Gita, can I say something? Um, yeah. This is Sadna. Um, yeah. Sister Dorothy, I have seen you after a long time. We came from Chicago with uh, Sister Jyotsna a long time ago, and you are just really, really wonderful as, I mean, very divine Baba soul. I think uh, you have explained, I think you really, um, you know, explained about Basna, but I think we felt Baba's Basna, in, <laughs> especially for me. So thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I really, really am glad to see you. Thank you, Baba. And thank you so much. I'm happy you're there, but it's your own divinity that you recognize and your own Basna. True. We yeah. only pick up what's in us. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone can open their um, cameras and just be so Dorothy Ben can guide the meditation and give you the drasti. So just be still, okay? Om Shanti. Om Shanti. You all can still hear all right because my voice drops Yes, low. we can hear you. I'm, I will let you know. Okay.
It's such a beautiful morning, a beautiful day, a beautiful life that our Baba has given us. To be together in this spiritual divine atmosphere that only Baba can create. He talked about the power of the gathering today in Omandli, how the sisters didn't want to leave. And I feel that each and every one of us has gathered around this honeycomb. You know, a honeycomb is where the bees make honey and store the honey. And it's such a sweet place. There's, it's like Madaban, the, the land of honey, the forest of honey. And so this, to me, this morning, being with the uh, Los Angeles angels, Los Angels, has been like such a sweetness. I'm feeling all of your divinity, your spirituality, and I don't know, it looked like there was a huge gathering. I think one time I saw 28 there. I can't see what it says now. It's more than 100, actually. 100? Yes. Oh, my goodness. No wonder I'm feeling so much sweetness. The Basna has traveled through the electronics, but also through the whole Midwest and in the air all the way to here. Because even if we didn't have the electronics, we know our thoughts reach to everyone. And I, I don't know, I'm just feeling a tremendous amount of love and sweetness from you all today because you must be very, very powerful souls. And, and I think that a hundred have gathered. Well, of course, when you add more to the gathering, the voltage raises. Thank you, Baba. Thank you for... Thank you. Beautiful Shukriya, family. Dorothy Ben. It was really very felt that we all are in Peace Village. And uh, we really experienced the Baba's powerful vibrations, the love from you. And uh, we'll more and more see each other. Okay.